Just framework, right? Yes. And there is a short overview on top. It's pretty short. Pretty confident. Pretty not terrible? Pretty not terrible. All right. Is there uh, anyone who is not ready? Extended interpretation, we believe that the affirmative must defend the topic intimately via the hypothetical implementation of a plan. Uh, the United States delays, she should have a plan that supports an advocate's government action. Our interpretation is the only way to achieve a stable, predictable base for they can ground without it over the fact that the ceasefire range, where the medical force of patients along with the exact topic specific education, which is the largest impact in the fact that the resolution is the only mechanism that creates a factor in the innovative debate second. The extended person in violation of that fails to justify the resolution. This is the best way to preserve competitive equity in the program. It's just not doing it. Most patients don't admit it. Most patients don't. They say counter interpretation by the spread of res the resolution. This is probably out for two. Uh, Reasons why it exposes the it exposes the need to research for because there's literally uh, no way to know a way in which to predict the different ways in which everyone can interpret what the sphere of the resolution actually means. Second, it literally justifies anything as long as uh, it, ju it justifies any type of method that could just be attached to maybe somehow uh, doing some type of material change later. This cuts the internal link to education. Uh, this cuts the internal link of education because having the uh, common spaces for is key to things like dialogue and key to the things like the dialogue we want. It's a uh, two way, it, it is in fact a two way street, but that means that both sides need a uh, very equitable division. This means that it uh, means that without uh, without a uh, relation to the resolution in any way, shape, or form, it makes the affirmative work of education. Uh, uh, education gains throughout the affirmative uh, uh, gains throughout the affirmative education we bankrupt because uh, that opening up uh, to make strips of uh, strips of any, if anything that is necessarily predictable, which means because anyone could just uh, uh, talk about whatever they want and ignore each other, which means that there's no uh, actual way to actually arbitrate at the debate at the end of the at the end of the day. People just talk about whatever they want without actually learning anything from each other. This is inherently problematic because it means that we'll never be able to have uh, the best strategy. The, the best strategies because we'll never understand what's wrong with them because people will only ever want to talk about themselves. And on to uh, uh, also this is a question. To, uh, this is a question of sequencing because they were will be able to solve any kind of sequencing argument because it's a test of the method of the one. See, we are winning. That larger institutions are inevitable. That is that, that is the only way to produce better change. Then it is the uh, that, that, then it is the best strategy. Also, so I just want to try to keep. All right, I'm going to go to the log of database. Purple stuff. Extended curl evidence on the law bad evidence is that we can exist in space outside of the law. The curl evidence indicates that opposing institutions are inevitable, and it's just a question of how effectively we can engage within those institutions to better create political change. Prefer the negative strategy because it's only when it comes to terms of the power of the universe, existence, death, one is the only strategy that teaches how those dominant power structures work and lies in the ideas that keep your friends close and your enemies close. Or if you want to know how to bring down a cosmic change in the structures, then you need to understand all that's in working in order to effectively challenge the people in power. And even if you are right uh, about the state of law, it's not a reason to retract that only has a stylistic balance and a conservative collapse. We should try to make it effective, even if it is impossible. We're shopping. Nine. Law which alternative violence laws to right from my own widow for always an important to say what laws and show that it exists to show the reference to be missing. We want to show the rule of law to from the rule of the strong rule of the strong is there are multiple rules of recognition of giving protection legal all kinds of power which have judge the power to make the good goal decision the practice is not so hard to mark leave you or the old seam of the defendant torture using the new image is the lower it was impossible to leave writing the this response is utilized and put into the work to the LSC to be constructed from the left and now deconstructed from the brain. We need to believe that the rule of law exists each generation which is the constitution to itself in order for it to be effective must be able to become too clever too clever to quit to notice and assurance the aim to most not to compare ourselves about the constitutional theory of absolutely nothing only and we believe that we're to receive that this is good how or more than the same thing is important indication that we know so we so much that this can we still care about the group and wrong post on your nihilism can still work with uh, with with a cheerful and home here determined have a lot even though we must take ourselves a constitutional law to that exists would not be necessary to it, it would be necessary to invent it and only the based by engaging institutions are able to produce social change this nature from politics factors coalitions and reinforces conservatism move the night they are which often they are advocating which often they expose the institutions they demand the positive role political channel. When we talk about the political, we do not lose sight of the ever-present possibility of heterogeneity and antagonism within society. The demands for the hegemonic and hegemonic order are recuperated by the existing system, which is not by as you guys have signed another way that neutralizes their subversive potential. We have no other choice but to engage with hegemonic practices in order to engage in order to challenge them. We do not engage with the challenge of existing order only if we instead choose to simply skip the same leave the door for others to take control of systems of authority and regulation. Others are often perfectly willing to take control of politics. I always take Place in the field crisscross by antagonists. The properly political intervention is always when they engage with a certain aspect of the existing head of the way that it's a war uh, position that needs to that needs to be launched. And uh, they are going to go pretty uh, hard on uh, hard on to this argument that limits are and uh, limits are and of themselves inher inherently have an order of power. This is inherently problematic because it's not uh, just a question. It's not just a question of limits. It's a question of access. Meaning, uh, when it is a question of access, whenever you get to the baby, you'll have things that you could uh, have things that you could drink, really read. Uh, you can see from this, it is not necessarily. I mean, it is not necessarily. They had a more visit in a way of uh, the best internally to things like education, which is obviously good for debate because 
Debates in education on TV. This is obvious that debate coaches are largely educators and participants are students. Their interpretation just destroys education because we're developing in-depth research on precursors to learn. We cannot just generate knowledge or experiences on our own. We need conversation with others based on other ideas to gain from it. There's a reason that the first week we watch for every new critical of covert to be framework in capitalism and their topical education is the best way we should judge education because any other kind of education is arbitrary given the existence of a resolution. Here's the topic of truth that we learn better than things from year to year. Through innovation, we need to be able to understand the ways in which military presence in the any of the different topic areas and things like queerness is something uh, that is unique to this resolution. We can understand the ways in which we have, and we understand the, the ways in which queerness has uh, been influenced within the uh, has been influenced within the military. This is good because it enables other people who don't necessarily always engage in this type of literature to engage in this literature in a way that is most uh, that is most uh, that is most productive because they actually have things that they can say to it. And there are, there's a topical version of the one a topical version of the one you see is able to resolve any risk of an impact on the framework. The United States should remove all military presence from the Greater Horn of Africa, or the United States should remove all military presence from the Arab states of the Persian Gulf, or the United States remove all military presence from the Northeast Asia, even if the top of the version of the Northeast cannot solve the impacts of these permits, just proves that they are lacking a discussion of the resolution that means that they do not have access to the cyber of freedom. They have specifically indicates that there will be discussions only uh, one of the key internal to education, which means that there is no access to the impact of freedom because the education, uh, the, the education that they, the, the education that they do have is not, uh, is not uh, I mean, the education that they do access is one not topic specific, not topic specific, but in addition to that, it is also education that is never going to actually go anywhere because it's just education of researching that you get from the Portland debate, but you do not actually get uh, any of the education that comes from being with the industry of someone who knows what to say to your affirmative and, and interrogates the way in which your method actually can change anything. Go to the switch right argument. We are going to win or arguments on the switch right argument. First, when every single player that you write about the same thing, it's a waste of time. If you're not talking about, we'll take out the same along with change, every single critical education where only considering both sides of the situation provides meaningful education. Second, it puts the balance in a trade position. You never actually have to vote for it. You can vote in cylinder for projects that should focus on the balance of Mind, I mean, they can do it on the negative where they only focus on money, which means that the project is not truly an active revolution. Third, there is no unique reason why the argument has to be read on the affirmative. They can read on the negative while still on the top of the plan, maintaining competitive equity. Also, this year's resolution is unique because it is a negative state action. So, yes, the state does stop, but, uh, does stop, but the affirmative is you have a unique opportunity to interrogate what that means or the things that they want to talk about while still maintaining things like competitive equity by being tied to a resolution and providing ground for the negative to actually engage in the affirmative. You can also send them your from the line and see switch headbands. It's not for teams that are diverse or identity. And you're not also so unique to the debate spaces that we can advocate for positions that are contrary to our belief systems, not having to take a real world concrete stance. It allows us to play the devil's advocate and see the other sides of our argument that create more responsible argumentation because we, as debaters, better know the opposition to our advocacy. Since which our debate does not encourage relativism and foster tolerance without committing students to act in a morally responsibility near 93. A final type of uh, values clarification education that encourages development will always switch out to be illustrates the symbol and no one is actually seen as correct or understandable. He has certain values and places above others switch out to be a part of special thesis and divergent beliefs but focus essential on sustainability of imposing beliefs that the pluralistic pedagogy does not apply. That all these are simple pluralism and requires switch from the fact that we'll dimension beliefs or we'll switch out to be especially important that the world depends on our kids and foster tolerance without occurring the world completion of acting on such beliefs. The exposure hardly commits them to mistaken values that are more simple for the real world as it seems to me to be in perspective the obligations to validate their high political value structure through and Moral claims in there, and there are kind of interpretation that's all uh, access to graphics and the grounds here for Wednesday. This is important for two reasons. First is predictability, the affirmative evasion of uh, the implemented plan is rooted in the resolution or anything really rooted in the resolution. It raises any foreseeable negative ground. Second is sensitivity, even if we did have generic ground like the removal of military presence, this is a good thing that would never actually have been, that would never actually be an explicit answer to their advocacy. There, uh, the, one, the, the one particular thing that the teams can predict on this year's topic is the removal of military presence from at least one of uh, the three regions. There's no link to the shift design that you can't just politics. There's no specific critical needs rooted in the removal of military presence. There's no uh, counter campaign ground, which means that they are, you know, the league was never able to uh, directly gain offense after the resolution. And because the, the last argument going to go for is the fact that it affects how uh, to they say uh, that they think that's good because of the Lord's being However, this is inherently problematic because it uh, makes you unpredictable. We cannot research backwards anymore. Policy is going to indirectly affect the military presence, which means we have to rely on generic strategies, which means that war, uh, we never will win. The effort is always going to be more prepared for those, uh, prepared for those that hurts the ground mission that was done above and increase of the resolution since the official would say you do not justify in offering a ballot just by an infinite amount of asset to pick a method and pledge any direct resolution act by saying it's a question of sequencing that makes it impossible to be negative because you don't actually tie yourself to anything that's predictable are you good yeah what's up uh, so I guess first I want to ask about the topic education impact what yeah. is topic education and why is it good specifically so topic education is education that is rooted in the topic right specifically uh, I think that's good because it's something that changes from year to year and enables us to uh, discuss different uh, issues that are kind of relevant to our time sure, and it enables right, us to research things we don't have to that military presence specifically is a heteronormative construct so why is 
debates about why are debates about uh, military presence good for queer people? Because only like I'm not not necessarily the only reason you know that, but one of the reasons you probably know that is by interrogating things like military presence because of this resolution to learn that it is heteronormative, but that which means that we can engage and understand. Discussion. Huh? That would seem to indicate that the act is still a topical discussion. No, it isn't because it's a question of what you actually do if you remove military presence, but which I is the second the part of it. You just said that I had to interrogate the res in order to create a crappy act. No. Okay. So. You talk about military presence, right? But that's only part of it. It's a question of what you do after you talk about military presence. Okay. That is also included in topic-specific education, right? Okay. The desirability of military presence and what happens when we remove it from other places is a large core part of topic-specific education that you're referring to that isn't able to access. Sure. Uh, what is the unique impact of the co-option argument? What? What is the unique impact to the co-option argument? Uh, like the law of good, bad stuff? Yeah, that's part of it. Yeah, okay, so the unique impact would specifically be that, uh, one, uh, you're never actually able to solve anything because there's always going to be someone who kind of comes in and fills in, which means that your affirmative is never actually able to resolve any of the impacts because there's always someone willing to take over. Yeah, but uh, the thesis of the app is because of homo nationalism, like gay pride parades and Lady Gaga concerts already do that in queer collective. So why is this unique in the context of the app? I think it's unique in the context of the app because your app has also brought up a new, uh, like the portion of the way in which co-option could occur in a context of military presence. So yes, co-option occurs, but specific to the opponent and specific to the military presence, that is not discussed, right? So that co-option would happen after like the fracturing that would occur from the disidentification of the affirmative that then also gets co-opted. So okay. it's like it continuously gets co-opted in a different way because it's a different question of something that's being co-opted. Okay, um, why are things like politics days slash process counter plans accurate representations of a policy making process? Um, I think that they're accurate representations of at least what's happening in our world today and kind of the different ways uh, and the different things that uh, policymakers might weigh uh, against whether well, or not to pass a policy. Get up on the floor and say, I'm going to fee up the counter plan yeah, totally, right? But that doesn't mean that those discussions don't matter. Those discussions are not relevant, right? It's a question of whether or not we are aware of the things happening in our own time. And I think that things like process counter plans or aging counter plans and the different dissats are able to give us that kind of education that we wouldn't get otherwise. Like how many regular college students spend all their time researching all these things to learn about all the different topics, uh, current events that are happening in the world, right? That's what's so unique to debate can is that explain, we do have that education. Sorry, I don't have much time. Do, can you explain right, right. you made at the bottom that's like we can't engage or we can't generate knowledge or an experience on our own? Yeah, so it's a question of, it's not like, that's kind of the same argument of like, even if your app is a good idea, without being able to understand it, we couldn't find problems with it. So say there was a big problem with it, but we never got to have that discussion, then that's bad, right? Because it means that your app would fail, but it couldn't, it, like, it, there was a chance that it might not have if we had that discussion. Does that make sense? Okay. All right. Uh, it's